Hey, it's Joel. Cool models to print are always something everybody's in the mood for, everybody's searching for, everybody wants to find. This, of course, is one of the cooler models you can print. It's a spring owl by Make Anything. Devin over there, his mind works in mysterious ways. He made himself a non-slinky. We're going to explore this, talk about it, and tell you what it takes to print it. We're going to do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Welcome back. This is a Springo. No, it is not a Slinky. A Slinky is a trademarked item and we would not want to infringe on that trademark. Instead, we have a Springo created by Devin over at Make Anything. Fashion. And it is Slinky-esque in its appearance, in its use, and its function. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's fun for girls and boys. Rolls downstairs, goes over in there. <laughs> Even the name, no, it's the log song. It's Rolls over your neighbor's dog. Log, log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's better than that, it's good. This one in pink was actually given to my daughter Riley at Bay Area Maker Fair by a, a little bearded fairy at the Prusa booth. And she's ever grateful for that. When we got home though, she did want something printed that looked like this, but it was in a different color. So I got out this filament. This filament? Yeah. It is a, uh, it's a filamentum PLA and it's sparkly and it's nice. And I printed that. And the reason that it's shorter is because we had some fail bus action going on. What I did was load it into the Prusa edition of Slicer. Or no, yes, the Prusa edition of Slicer. Cause now Slight Prusa Slicer's out, whatever. I'm gonna read, cause that's confusing to people now. Yeah. What I did is I printed this on my Prusa Mark III and I printed in, like I said, the filamentum PLA. I just did defaults, so I did 250C on the nozzle and 215, I guess, was a little too much. How this works is there's these little gaps and as the printer prints over those gaps, it's not enough to bridge, but it's enough to leave a tiny little space and that space should be overcome mechanically, like by these, these sort of things. Uh, Devin in his video, I think he uses one of these and some gloves to protect himself. And then he pries along the Springo lines until he can get something like this. So what I tried to do was do the same thing, but because it was printed at 215C, the plastic melted to the layer below it a lot, well, a lot more than it should have. And so what I also did was, look at that filament right there. You see that? That's pretty. Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah. This is Strong Hero 3D Chameleon Sparkling Rainbow. Chameleon Sparkling Rainbow. What a fantastic name. It's a wonderful name and it produces things like this. This is spectacular in how it looks. And what's great is I was able to print this between 195C and 200C. I could have done for the same for this, but uh, there's not a lot left on that roll, which is why I switched over to the Strong Hero filament. I'm glad I did because it looks great. It performed incredibly well at 195 to 200 C, and it means I should be able to pry these apart a lot easier. And instead of using these, I have an idea. I have this. This is my Swiss Army knife. I got this when I got married. I bought one for my dad, and I bought one for Mickey's dad, and then they sent me a third one. And so I have this blade right here, and what I think I can do is use this just to kind of carve and push along the way. And then hopefully, hopefully it frees it up and we have ourselves a wonderful Springo. Let's give it a try. I think if I do this and I do, surprisingly that worked. Just kind of working the knife back and forth. And because the knife is a bit of a, a wedge shape, it should help to pry the layers apart and then the sharp blade will dig in and um, start the job. So, so the sharp part starts the job and the wedge finishes the job. This seems like a long process. This is gonna take a while. Uh, I, I think it's the side that was either furthest away or closest to the fan is different. I am, I'm sweaty. Dude, can you grab me a paper towel? You, you need a sweat rag. Yes, I do. I think that's it. <laughs> oh, that's, it's so, it's difficult. It's warm up here and I sweat anyway, but, but. Look. That. <laughs> I don't know why this is so much fun. It's just so much fun. Like I, that was a lot of work. It was a lot of work to, to put in, to get that to open up. Um, I did not cut myself. I very well could have, but you, you take your time 
Take your time, and if you're not safe around a blade, get your parents' permission first, kids. Take your time to go around the circumference of the spring o and then just free it up little bit by little bit. And if you take your time, you won't have any broken spring o bits, and you'll be able to get it done. I don't know if any other way to close this up than to just play with the spring o because it's so awesome. Well, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. I really can't wait to see you print one of these yourself. I'd really love to see what you do with it. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Go there, download the model, give it a print, give it a try. Don't give up if it fails, adjust and reprint. Also, uh, go give Devin a follow, go give him a like, go give him some love. That dude is cool. Well, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Love you all, as always. High five. You know, slingers are like five bucks, right? But do they look this cool? It's, it's, it's fair. Do they look this cool?